About a month ago, I made a video about the first ThinkGeek capsule. It's ThinkGeek's limited edition run of their own subscription box. And I have to say, I was not really blown away. I was not impressed all that much. And I know a lot of you guys were not either. But I did prepay for all three of the limited edition boxes. And the second one has arrived today. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. I'll put a link to where you can find this box and the whole subscription stuff over on ThinkGeek's site. They actually sent out a whole survey to me asking for thoughts and opinions on it. And basically, I just sort of railed them, let them know exactly exactly how displeased I was with it, but they sort of gave the impression that they were thinking about continuing this after the fact. And it's like, no, unless you make this better, make it worth the money, it's way too expensive for what you're getting. So let's see if this is any better. I saw some of the themes of the things that are supposed to be in this. They mentioned Game of Thrones, so I'm immediately excited. Let's cross our fingers and hope for the best. So Think Geek Capsule number two. I'm not going to open this just yet. Don't want to spoil it. Right at the top of the box, Think Geek Capsule bonus. Flip it over. You can see the bonus number one we got was the playing cards. Bonus number two is an officially licensed Doctor Who pocket pop keychain. The 12th Doctor or the 4th Doctor, which appears to be this little guy. So I got a pocket pop vinyl figure of the 12th Doctor. And I have to admit it, I'm going to lose my geek card here, but I stopped watching Doctor Who whenever the 11th Doctor went away because I just didn't really care for the 12th Doctor. Probably my mistake, I know, but let's hope that my disappointment with this is not how the box is going to go. All right, so we have a collectible pins. Star Stuff Edition. Feels like there's a lot in there. And that's, I guess, kind of an interesting pin. It's Fantasy Edition is what it says here. Astronaut Helmet. Okay. Over here, this... That's an interesting one. It's a Batman pencil tube, apparently colored pencil set. Pencil tube contains 12 colored pencils, four posters, and one sharpener. So while I'm not necessarily one for artwork and stuff, this is really cool. I could see giving this to my son. This would probably be really good for him. So maybe that's a slight step in the right direction. Next up, I see a book. It looks like a book at least. It says Star Trek Vulcan Hidden Universe Travel Guides. There we go, that was a lot of effort. I did mention on the plastic here, exclusive Vulcan postcards. Another one of those things I've seen in other boxes before and I'm not really sure why they do it. But there's Rall and Lake Euron and Kir and Volcano Rigar. And that one's actually bent, but they're proper postcards. I guess you could fill this out and mail it to your friends and family if they're Star Trek geeks. Not to disparage Star Trek geeks. I'm a Star Trek geek to an extent. And then this travel guide, it's actually got some thickness and some heft to it. It says, welcome to Vulcan as I start flipping through it. Lodging tips, how to say hello and goodbye. A language primer. So I mean this technically, yeah, this is something I might have purchased at one point in my life. Right now I'm not really sure, but the pictures look nice. It's very good quality. So yeah, this this is nice. This is not bad. And this says it has a $20 US value, but it has a ThinkGeek capsule over the sticker. So presumably that's just, that's their MSRP on it when it was available for sale. Now the next thing in the box that I see here, I'm very excited about and kind of concerned at the same time. It says Game of Thrones House Sigils. I am a big Game of Thrones fan, I will say. I've read, okay, well, I've listened to all the books, audiobooks. Audible.com, feel free to go check them out. But this says House Sigils, collect them all. And it actually gives it away down here, Game of Thrones Land which actually I might be okay with that. I kind of like the Lannister house sigil. So what is it? Oh, it's canvas. Yeah, this is like sort of proper wall art, if you will. That's pretty nice. And it's relatively small. I think it's about the size of a sheet of A4 paper, but don't quote me on that. I'm not from a place where we use it. Moving on down though, I see something with a Dungeons and Dragons logo on it. And actually that's the bottom of the box because the last thing in here is the gift card, which we'll have to figure out how much that's worth here in just a minute. So I would assume that that's the t-shirt. And good timing, the air conditioner's coming on. Okay, that's really cool. This is a, an iron transfer patch of a D20. I gotta say, I would love to stick that on a backpack or something, or a messenger bag. I'll have to think about that real hard. And then the t-shirt. The t-shirt is not a black t-shirt. I can't see what's on it yet, but it's, it's red, and it's Dungeons and Dragons. And there it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, that's actually a really cool shirt. Okay. I am not sure how much this would have cost retail. Again, if they ever sold it retail, but I definitely, this is something I probably would have paid for because you got the D20 and all the different weapons and everything and potions. That's a really cool shirt. Just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Spoiler alert, Picard defeats the Borg. Oh no. So we do have the Game of Thrones sigil canvas art. Looking at these three options of all the three, any of them would have been really cool. I think the House Lannister is the one that I like the look of the best, at least in terms of like hanging something on the wall. But Targaryen's probably where I would have gone if I'd had the choice. The mini two posters. That's really cool. Apparently these are the different pins that you could have gotten. That one would have been really neat. If you're not familiar with that, that's a reference to a really, really old movie. Officially licensed t-shirt though. Very cool stuff. Now let's cut to see how much this was actually worth. 
and I just checked this card is worth five dollars again so woo. And just to wrap this video up I'm gonna say that this box was a bit of a mixed bag for me. It was not terrible, not nearly as bad as the last box was. There are obviously quite a few things in here I'm not gonna be using in my day-to-day -day life but I can see my son or possibly even my wife getting some use out of these colored pencils, my son getting some use out of the coloring pages, the Doctor Who 12th Doctor, that's meh, I'll probably give that away to somebody. The pen is a pen, I don't really do things with pens. The D&D stuff and the Game of Thrones stuff, that's really cool and of course the, the book is really really nice. Maybe read through that at some point. But the t-shirt. The t-shirt is sort of the core, the crux of this box for me. It's the best thing that I've seen out of it so far. Absolutely love that. So I'll go ahead and put a link to where you can find this box and the whole Think Geek capsule subscription stuff down below. I don't think there's any sort of affiliate, referral, anything to it. I'll just put a link to it down there and I think if I can find any of the individual products I'll link directly to them just so you don't have to worry about the whole box of everything you probably don't want. So again, thank you guys as always for watching. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't like the contents or if you didn't like the way that I presented it or just me, my ugly face, hit that thumbs down. That's perfectly fine. Subscribe to the channel though if you want to get notified when I do put out new videos. I try to do them every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and I'll see you again next time.